Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. What do we got going on today? What is going on? That was good, but do it again using your man voice this time. Oh, Lord have mercy. You really want me to start over? I'm kind of mumbling. Let's go. <laughs> hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Apparently there was a mumble alert and we had to restart. We got Stranahan's <laughs> Cast Thief and... <laughs> Woo! West Jolly. West Jolly. We like to just call him the Jolly. And we're going to... Test it! Test it! Colorado style. <laughs>
We can't well, just take the bottle. And we haven't mentioned uh, Wes is a writer as well for Modern Thirst. Good point. Modern yeah. Thirst. Tell us a little bit about Modern Thirst. Modern Thirst uh, started as a uh, American whiskey and a bourbon uh, site, and in 2017 they put out a call to uh, get a World Whiskies writer, and I actually applied to do that, and I've been writing for them since uh, the beginning of 2017. I write, I actually write about some American single malts. I've written about Strain of Hands on the site and the last Snowflake releases, and I do the Scotch, uh, the uh, Indian, Japanese whiskeys, and then coming up in December, plan to do a Japanese advent calendar, hopefully, mm. and uh, dive, delve a little bit more into that. So uh, you can find us at modernthirst.com. And I do know we were responsible our Scotch Malt Whiskey Shows, Society Shows, and Ben led you to buy, what, right. one, or one or two bottles? Yeah, I got a few bottles from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society uh, after watching Ben <laughs> on the Scotch Test Dummies, and uh, we've actually tasted some of their bottles in our whiskey tastings, and they have fared very well. He has wonderful stats from your from your club, and I can't remember, it was a real cool name of one of the ones that was in the, the top. What was the name of the one Scotch Malt Whiskey bottle? Uh, um, dancing on a volcano. I am. I was like, ho. Oh. It's up in the top 10. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that is phenomenal. Now I want that one too. And we can't let this go by. You're a huge board gamer as well. Yes, yes, we, yes I, we can. I, I, I do no. like to board game and ended up talking to Bart quite a bit about um, board games yeah, last night. Scott, Elvin oh, Elvis. No, Elvin no, Elvis. No, Scott took a little jab and he's like, actually, I play a lot of GMT. And I was like, what? And then we like, yeah, we had our own little like inside the bubble moment for a while, which was yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, you did. You did. It was good. Uh, so me, I had to get that me, out. Doug, and Jesse had our own conversation right. for a while. Right. Yeah, much but, more boring than what we were having. So we did have the Stranahan <laughs> Snowflake Quandary Peak last night, which was very good in its own. But the Cask Thief good stole call. the show. Yeah, so steer up Really did. When, when we went into this one last night, we said we've got to let you. Let's, let's taste it. Here's the funny thing. You said that a lot of times uh, your, your whiskey club will watch our review of a certain bottle. And it was funny because I was thinking we should get into this a little sooner. But this is what happens on the show. We ended up bloviating for quite some time before we actually tasted what's been poured. We'll usually watch your episodes as, at the breaks between our tastings. And, you know, I was really surprised to get the call last night after all the board game talk from Scott asking me if I wanted to come be a part of this. Yeah. I thought, man, there's there's no shot of... Uh, we well, see all the yeah. Yeah, you'll be persona you'll be non grata yeah. the rest of the event. Yeah, there's a Stalingrad game on the, uh, on the table over there right now. My GMT section's over there. <laughs> Jeremy, so the, you would love the game collection. Oh, just saying. Yes. So this is this is a, a June twenty third, twenty eighteen uh, date on it. Cask Stranahan's Cask Thief, the Cab Calloway, uh, fifty eight point seven five percent. And these are only sold in the three seventy five milliliters. Right. And the day of the event, uh, first come first serve. You get a ticket when you buy a ticket to the Cask Thief. It's usually a Four hour event at Stranahan's. You get to taste six different whiskeys directly from the cask. Uh, they have a barbecue going where they are roasting mm. pigs over Stranahan staves. Mm. You get dessert items made with Stranahan's, and they usually have that event. Uh, I think last year was the third year, and it's in June usually. And mm. I, it's my understanding they plan to continue. So I encourage you, if you want to taste some cast strength whiskey, that's the place to go. And that was something you talked to us about to make very, very clear. You cannot go out and buy this bottle or even a snowflake from a store. You have to go to these Stranahan events. So don't drive yourselves nuts driving around looking for it or calling. Do go to Stranahan's website, see when they're going to have their different events, realize that it's getting so popular there's even this tailgating campout thing going on. But we talked a lot about how Stranahan's is, is, is putting out more product and, and, and the quality of the product they're doing and the experimentation that's going on. So go to their website, find the details there if you're really interested not you won't be able to find this but what they're doing is a lot of wonderful like one-offs and you can get involved in future events even if this one's passed you and us by and the next snowflake release is december 1st the line will start uh, for a lot of people on the 30th mm -hmm. uh, i'll be in line uh, that evening probably or that that morning Holding, taking a day two, off, reserving yeah. two spots for us. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna wander down. Uh, gonna, we'll be wearing kilts in yeah. the cold. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, December first for the snowflake, the next snowflake release. That could Let's, be a title of an SMWS bottle: kilts in the cold. 
There you go. Throwing that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Sorry. sure. Let's well, go to the juice. With the taste uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's, that is a good name. It's short. There's a lot of cinnamon, a lot of cinnamon, a lot of oak, <laughs> and the and the. I, I call it a. Um, I would just say there's a want, obvious wine influence on it. I do want to say, Ben was over there shaking his head like, no, <laughs> that's not happening. <laughs> Sorry. Back to this. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> I get some like uh, a lot of spice. Um, yeah. Like the kitchen spice on the nose. That and I get dark fruits, mm. yeah. Spice. I mean, it's like a dessert, almost, right? When you taste and, it, and it's hard to say from the nose, but it, I hasn't, I haven't tasted it yet. But I get like a velvety nose mm. almost to it, which is hard to explain. But I, I also know having this last night, there's one heck of a good mouth coating mm -hmm. in this whiskey. Mm. Obvious single malt maltiness, mm. a lot of spices. Little astringent, high ABV. There's some wine finish right there. Grapes. Yes. Um, yeah. The the dark grapes. Yeah, dark grapes and red and, red grapes. That's what I was trying. Well, to. and again, well, I'm, I like dark grapes. And that mouth coating, the cling is just everywhere, and it's really it feels oily and rich and viscous. Wonderful yeah. mouth feel. Like dark brown sugar mm -hmm. notes. That sweetness mm -hmm. with that wine uh, influence on it. it's pretty amazing. Yeah, the finish carries out with that sweet brown sugar, and the 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 vanilla keeps like tapping in, just a little tippy tap. Hmm. Caramels, the brown sugars, the grapes. I would say it's like the oak. caramel on a flan. Hmm. Yes. I used to go to that a lot back in the day. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Berries. Raspberries, blackberries. Definitely get uh, raspberries and that kind of fruit mm -hmm. in there also. Yeah. Delicious. Uh, this one, when I had my little sample last night, just blew me away. Yeah. And it mm -hmm. is again today. Right. Really rich. Now, what's the other version? So you went through, you tasted them, you choose the Cab Franc one, the Cab Calloway. What were the other versions that you sampled of the cask feed? There were six uh, that evening, and I'll try to remember what uh, some of them were. There was one called Charlene, and right now it escapes me what it was finished in. There was a port finish that evening. There was a 10,000th barrel from Stranahan's that was um, uh, tasted that evening. There was the uh, the Cab Calloway, uh, and I'm blanking on what the other ones were right off the top. The previous year, uh, last year in 2017, is when they had the, sh I think 2017 is when they had the Sherry Cast. So they had a 40-year-old Sherry Cast sitting there, mm -hmm. and you're taking mm -hmm. uh, the samples yeah. directly out of that. And then they decided to release that when it was so popular. I've been told um, there was a, a poll, and... From some, I did not see the poll, but this one actually won the evening as the mm -hmm. favorite of can, the cast drinks that night. I could see why. Now, don't they, when you say, I want that one, don't they pull it from the cask, bottle it, and seal it? They're already, already bottled. bottled. They're already bottled. So they've already bottled some. They've got the cask sitting there, and they've already bottled some from every cask. So okay. you can go take your ticket and um, purchase one on site that evening. Now, <laughs> I will tell you, so people talk about... You know, uh, the, the Van Winkles come out, the b -tacks right. come out, some of the other special edition bourbons, and people go stand in line at liquor stores overnight waiting for them to, to hit the shelves. I've never wanted to do that. Right. I do want to go to Stranahan's, though, to wait in line to get some of this. Yes. But because it's more of an event. Exactly. Yeah. I and mean, look at it, the food, the pig, the camping outside. The, the, the atmosphere, it's almost like the, you were describing like a tailgating atmosphere. Yeah, it's like yeah. a community feel when you're there. Um, the, the lounge is open. You can go in and get mixed drinks with strain of hands. Uh, oh. They have food. They bring in food trucks both for dinner and for breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a great atmosphere. And now, so, are, are people uh, officially or unofficially, while they're waiting in line, also outside sharing bottles and stuff that they bring? People they will bring bottles and share them. Um, yeah. People will have I a just, flask with a, a favorite uh, whiskey and and share those during the evenings. Very and, and it's very organized and uh, very great group. Yeah, awesome. Well, this is delicious. I would go at ninety five mm, on this. It's very very good. I'll, I'll concur. This was yeah phenomenal. I mean, it was so good as we were sipping last night. 
And I was just, I mean, I was like, wow. Yeah. You know, I mean, to see, and I really wanted, it, it opened up even, I like Stranahan's. I love what Stranahan's is doing, but I didn't even have an idea about what this was mm -mm. going on. Mm -mm. And so we were immediately mm. like, man, Wes, can we put this on you the know, show? What? I just realized, too, we what? haven't added a drop of water. I do not wish to. 57%, yes. 58%. And it's so smooth. I do want to throw out one deal. I tried to get Wes to wear a cowboy hat. <laughs> he would not do it. He was going to, and I said, don't get yeah, in. I had him in like a, like a choke hold. I'm like, where the hat? Where sure. the hat? Ben was peer pressuring him, like, I wore it, you got to wear it. And he was like, I ain't Well, Ben it. had the hat on when I came in, and I thought, man, he came from Chicago with a cowboy yeah, hat on. Yeah, Ben just brought, that's how he flies. When Ben's on an airplane, cowboy hat. Ben, uh, you had a little sample of the Cask Thief. Any thoughts you want to throw in real quick? Any, I mean, just. From the Wizard of Oz? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I thought it was phenomenal. Mm. I thought that cab front, but that, that wine cask is, is there. It's intense, but the spirit still comes through. I didn't realize it was bottled at 57%, so uh, you said? 58. 58.75. 58. It was so approachable. Uh -huh. yeah, it's probably, probably relatively young whiskey. I thought that was so developed. And mm -hmm. Did you say four years? This is actually seven. Four, uh, okay. A four-year-old strain of hands, three years in yeah. the cab barrel. Very nice. Well done. Well done. Mm -hmm. On the label, I think it's interesting. It's labeled Cast Thief Stolen Sips. A celebration of the best and most unique in American single malt whiskey pulled from the depths of our rack house for the first time. Uh, that they pull out to sample in uh, in June, and I hope they continue to do that. And what's the name of their master distiller again? That, that really uh, is real Rob creative. Dietrich. Rob Dietrich. Dietrich, that's right. <laughs> Rob <laughs> Dietrich, sig signature on the bottle here. It's funny that, funny that Ben Dietrich yeah. would know. He and Ben, distant, <laughs> distant cousins. <laughs> Any relation? Dietrich. It's spelled differently. Oh, oh exactly. there, well, that's just because you He's got, got the proper the, German spelling. Proper yeah. German. All right. That just means when your clan hit Ellis Island, somebody just was like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Wes, thank you for coming. Um, mm -hmm. Pleasure. Thank you thank for bringing you. this, and thank you for allowing us to review it and sample it again. It's too bad that we drank it all. Well, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, it'll be out there. <laughs> the sharing, once again, I mean, Wes has got this on total display. Whiskey's meant to be shared. Mm. You share the whiskey. It's a communal experience. Even what Stranahan's, the event that's going on there, is a communal sharing experience. Your, the stories with your whiskey club, it's that sharing that goes on. And when you're showing up with these and you're saying, I expect these to be gone. I want a half gallon of the cask feet. <laughs> yeah. 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 He wants this big old and he'll be like, holy, holy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the, so, I mean, I just want to really thank you. Um, I mean, it's once again, just that natural display of uh, the whiskey fans, the whiskey aficionados of these are meant to be shared. You know, we've heard of the snowflake Gillespie, who's even interviewed you, uh, had kind of went and covered the snowflake release. And and then you go even beyond that with with uh, with the the cab Callaway the the cask thief. So thank you. Well, and as far as the half gallon, you had said you've been waiting for the right opportunity or not opportunity, but just the right time to open and share right this half gallon. The club has so. tried a regular seven fifty. I've had that one sitting there, and when I decided to come out to Wichita, mm. thought there's going to be quite a few people here, and this is the time to share that. So you yeah. a lot of people can't get get the chance to try that. Usually the normal release is now in the 1500 to 1600 bottle range and they sell out that morning. Last year they turned people away at the end of the line for the snowflake release. And mm -hmm. I want that to be emptied so it will become my infinity bottle. Oh, mm. that would be a great way. So, we bottle. love the way you talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you All again. Right. So scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.